Hey everybody, it's Dr. Devin and I'm back. I wanna to talk to you about three of the biggest game changers in my life that are playing a big, big part in my here and now to crank up my health, to get in my power, to supercharge my light, to stay after it, to get after it, and um, stay really clear and connected in amidst, amidst any kind of swirling chaos um, that is here now or may come in the future. So I'm gonna to talk to you today about three little, little golden nugget changers of course, number one is chiropractic. You know I'm gonna talk about it, it's who I am, it's what I do, it's the absolute top of the list, can't be beat, can't touch it, can't match it, game changer in my life. For my physical health, I feel better, I heal better, I'm more mentally clear, um, it, it keeps me healthier. I mean, like it, my immune system is just off the charts ridiculous, I've, I've grown five human beings on the inside of this body um, and I, I made a smart decision. I married a chiropractor so I can get adjusted anytime I want to. And, and from a physical standpoint, what it does for my, my brain and my body, I mean, it just cannot be rivaled. Now, when I look at those five humans that I just referenced, it is the biggest game changer for our family. So, um, you know, they don't take medication. They don't, if they do get sick, sick they process things very fast, which I'm going to, I'm going to circle back to in my number two. Um, but you know, they, it's not that they never have symptoms. They just don't stay down very long because their immune systems are rock freaking solid so whatever comes their way they handle it very very fast the other thing that it does for them that I think is a good thing is um, you know when they do get a runny nose when if they if their ear hurts if they have a headache if they have pain they come to me or they come to their dad and they say hey can you can you check me right my body is talking to me can you check me um, can you pop my popcorn? If my little three-year-old, hey mom, can you pop my popcorn? Um, and it's because they know that something in their system is is not quite right, and with an adjustment, they feel better. I mean, you can't you can't fake that, right? So, like my kids just know they heal better, they feel better with chiropractic, and it keeps you know our medicine cabinet. We don't have one. <laughs> like, um, I mean, it's it's very simple. We use chiropractic for everything. It's our first line of defense for absolutely everything. And um, and that's, I mean, it's been all the game changer in the world. And I love, love, love that my babies um, don't go searching, right, for, um, they, don't, they don't ever believe they're broken. You know, they just trust that their body knows how to get them through it. And that, that's a gift that I don't think you can put a price tag on. Now, Chiropractic simply explained. I'm gonna use my little buddy here. I got I wear a safety pin just about every single day. And the reason for that is it helps remind me and it, it helps create this kind of a conversation. This is the simplest way that I can break it down. This is you. Top here, that's your brain. Bottom part here is your body. When you are in proper alignment, your brain and your body are connected. You got your stuff together. Things are working right, you're holding it down, you're strong, it's good. Oh, life comes along, ah! You're not connected anymore. Something came out of alignment. What happens? The brain and the body are no longer in proper connection. So what happens? You do not have your stuff together. And Dr. Katina Manning, ouch, ouch! Um, it can cause pain when you're in a state of disconnect. You can get poked um, by the fact that your brain and body are no longer in communication. This is where um, you know symptoms can come into play, and um, and there becomes this hey, there's this disease, this disconnection that happens when you're not in proper alignment, and the brain and body just don't communicate the way that they could. Um, and so along comes the chiropractor to make an adjustment and brain body back in connection back with your stuff together life is good um i love the safety pin analysis i'm going to drop that down in um description so you can read more about i mean it's it's the simplest way it's the aha that i had that was like well that makes perfect sense um but if you if you want more i'm going to put a bunch of research articles down there my my gal dr heidi havoc who wrote the reality check and has all kinds of research the icpa puts out a lot of research where we talk about how when you get adjusted when you get put back into proper alignment you experience a, a nearly 200% increase in your immune function. Don't worry, I got the article, it's down there. Um, and 
you know, I, I'm a simple gal. Like, it, that just makes sense to me. But I also understand that those that aren't fully in this world or who have heard misinformation or, or not great things about chiropractors or chiropractic, maybe haven't heard these things. So again, dropping all kinds of resources down there. I talked to a good friend of mine this morning, Dr. Steve Gould, who is not only a local chiropractor um, and a, a radiologist who just saves all of us here locally. He helps us read um, films and, and know if we need to you know, make, make other recommendations, referrals, or get more testing. He's also the president of our Healing Arts Board here in the state of Kansas. And so just kind of chatting through, making sure that I'm up to date, making sure me and my team have everything that we need to provide the very best care in our offices. Um, you know, right now we want to make sure that we're compliant with any of the recommendations, that we're wiping everything down, that we're keeping things very clean, that we're properly communicating with our practice members. And, and you know, I mean, it, it makes me feel good that I think it speaks volumes that a, a chiropractor sits at the top of the Healing Arts Board because of his relentless pursuit of education and understanding, he's one of the most respected doctors in the state. And so, you know, he just talked about the importance of getting people to the chiropractor during this time because of the way that we help influence function within the body, how we keep symptoms in a state of ease because we keep the brain and body in connection. I know I'm hitting that one really hard. Um, to my practice members, to, um, uh, to any of you that, I mean, we're out of school indefinitely, it sounds like, um, for some. And just come get adjusted this week. Like, I, I, my team and I, we're ready. Um, I'm going to spend some spring break time with my babies. But on the hours that we have, we're coming in early. I, you know me. You know I'm coming in early. I'm willing to stay late. And if, you know, if you're not feeling up to it, communicate with our team because we have protocols for that as well. Um, we are here for you. Um, my team gets adjusted regularly, weekly at a minimum, and so do their kids and a lot of their parents and family members because it is it is a way of life for us. It's, a, it's much bigger, you know, than just getting our popcorn popped because we get the bigness of what happens for our health, our mental health, um, as well when when we're adjusted well adjusted so if you have any questions on that let me know now number two I want to talk to you about perspective and reflection because that's that's what I'd like to do what I'd like to challenge each of us to do during this time of distancing um, and 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 isolation you know I I I don't like being isolated. <laughs> I like being connected, I, um, as do I think a lot of people. And just, you know, it's a time to ask questions. How'd we get here? What are we learning? What kind of questions are we asking? Um, how do we move forward? And, and you know, what, what is it that's, that's really happening um, within each of us, right? Because there's, there's fear. I, I don't know anybody that hasn't had a moment of like, whoa you know um if, if you have had zero like whoa in the last week dang like you go um but uh but yeah i mean i hope that we're actively learning and participating in the world around us right now and that and that in the pause right i i mean that, this is what i was talking about earlier that like i don't believe that pain is bad i don't believe that symptoms are bad if we're listening and asking the right questions if my back hurts why and and do does something need changed do i need adjusted am i getting enough water am i sleeping adequately if, if i'm getting repetitive headaches do i yes i i'm going to get adjusted but i'm also going to ask myself like what else is going on if my body is screaming at me um you know and, and trying to tell me something I need to listen. And so I, I, I think that pain can be a really, really good teacher. And, and that's on a micro within me. But when I'm when I macro and, and eagle view this question, like, is this thing that's happening um, a bad thing? Now, I still don't know enough or understand because the numbers in my perspective don't, um, I don't understand the mass um, movement around me. Um, I understand that I probably don't have all the information as well. And, um, and I understand that some people do have immune system issues. And, and so I get the bigness. I'm asking better question like what's, what's going on? Why this? Um, and, and is it bad, right? 
So as it has forced me and you into these moments of pause, now I'm having conversations with some of my best friends, some of my mentors, and I'm asking different questions. So what's happening? I'm learning. I'm talking to my kids, you know, hey, you're on spring break, they're canceling schools, they canceled your state wrestling, they canceled, why? I want my kids to be why children. Why, what's under here, what's going on? And I want them to know they can talk to me, I want my team to be active participants in this. So again, perspective, reflection, asking questions, like, okay, this is this is our culture, well, what's what's going on and is it shifting us to take a look at our priorities and um and what can we gain from it right like can't get out of it get into it so I, here we are i mean things moved really really quickly and um i took my first trip to walmart last night and i'm i'm looking at the things that are missing why toilet paper <laughs> why i've looked at the symptom list i that one i, I don't understand quite yet um you know I'm, I'm just I, I'm, I'm asking lots of questions right now and and leaving a space for listening to um, for those answers to come and um, the forever student right I, I don't want to just go through this I don't want to just get through this I, I want to actively participate in it and understand it now the last thing this one's simple icing on the cake what do we need patience and prayer um, all processes take time. It's one of our founding principles in chiropractic and healing takes time. So healing from all of this, resetting from all of this is gonna take time. And we're gonna have to have patience with ourselves, patience with each other, patience with what we've created. Um, because, you know, the blame game and anger and more fear, I think we've all agreed, is not, is not gonna serve us. So let's be patient and um and let's pray pray meditate whatever you want to call it um but i'm praying for for my family for my practice for my team for my friends and family members and for each and every one of you um i believe this is gonna gonna help open conversations and create a shift in consciousness and awareness literally globally and it doesn't have to be bad and so yeah I mean, I choose the light. I stand firm in my power. Um, I'm talking to God a lot right now, and that's never a bad thing. That's never a bad thing to be still and know. And, um, you know, and, and if you give it, you receive it. So if you're saying prayers for other people, you're going to feel that, that light shine back at you too. So that's what I got today. Go see your chiropractor. Give me a shout if you need help finding one or if you want to come see us. Um, take time for reflection. Ask really good questions right now. Become a student of life and be patient and say your prayers. I love you. Sending prayers your way. We're in this. We got this. I'll see you soon.